evaluate uh, evaluate 103 103 times 107 and factorize 1 minus p to the power of 6 now here the question is not don't we want to use algebra to multiply 103 times 107 okay so as i've discussed in uh, the previous video you should know this formula of a squared minus b squared which is also called in short dos okay dos is difference of squares is a plus b times a minus b you can also write the same thing as a minus b times a plus b this is one formula we should know and uh, there is a uh, a different formula of if it is a cube let me write the formula a cube plus b cube a factorizes to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared now uh, you should know this or if you expand this you can get this to understand this you can go backwards but i'll leave it to you for you to investigate whether this expands to this uh, for the time being, you can believe me. If it is a cube, a cube minus b cube, the formula is almost the same, but slight difference. It will be a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. Now, to remember this formula is very easy. If it is a cube plus b cube, you put plus here, and you put a minus a b. a squared plus b squared is same. a squared plus b squared is the same. The only difference is, if it is plus here, you'll have a plus here, and if you have a plus here, you have a minus here. And it's always good to remember the formula, and there's these, this is one technique or one way in which I remember. You can use your own technique. So if it's minus here, a cube minus b cube is a minus b, and as it is minus here, it's plus here. Okay, so uh, we will be using this formula, both these formulas, to evaluate first this, and then... So now to... Uh, multiply 103 times 107 that is a number by which you can write in this form or this form so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add first add them 103 plus 107 okay so this is oops 107 so this is 200 and 100 plus 100 is 200 200 and 3 plus 7 is 10 so 210 okay and that you divide by 2, which is 105. Now, you may not understand why I did this. Now, this, what we are doing is we are finding the mean of these two numbers. Okay, so the mean of these two numbers is 105. Now, I can write 100, 103 and 107 as 105. So, what do I mean? So, I can write 103 times 107 is same as 105 i want you to do think about this 105 so how can you write 103 as 105 plus or minus so if this is minus 2 100 and 103 is 105 take away 2 and 107 is 102 plus 2 105 plus 2 now this, I want you to compare with this form. So this is, now you can compare your A with 105 and your B with 2. So you can use this formula, which is 105 squared minus 2 squared. Now to write the square of 105, there's a neat way of writing directly. So first you write 25. And then you do 10 times 11 is 110. Okay, I'll, I'll show this on a calculator. 110. Okay, so this is my calculator. So if you go 105 squared is 11025. Suppose if it is 95 squared, I know 9 times 10 is 90. So it will be 9025. Oops. 95 squared is 9,000. So look at the pattern. So if it is 85 squared, it is 7,225. Now 72 is 8 times 9. If it is, say, 65 squared, I know 6 times 7 is 42. 
so it will be 4225 okay so this is a very neat way of uh, this can be only used where for numbers ending with 5 so 1 11,025 minus 4 am I right 2 squared is 4 which is uh, 11,021 okay so let's take this on a calculator 103 times 107 is 11021 and this is how algebra can be so useful in many places okay now we're going to use factorize this so 1 minus p to the power 6 is I can write this as 1 squared minus p uh, what can I write p cube okay p squared uh, I have to write p cube squared because I want to write difference of two squares so I have to write p cube squared okay because three times two is six so power of power you multiply the power so this is nothing but using difference of two squares it is one minus p cube times one plus p cube now we're going to use this formula a cube plus b cube and a cube minus b cube so this is in a big bracket I can write it so this is one cube minus p cube and this bracket I can write one cube plus p cube now using that formula this is one minus p times one squared is one I'm directly using the formula and then you have to put plus here one times p is p plus p squared and this factorizes to 1 plus p times 1 minus p plus p squared. So writing in a better way. So this is nothing but 1 minus p times 1 plus p times 1 plus p plus p squared and 1 minus p plus p squared.